talking of yellow jackets, this is the Yellow Jacket Buzz. I'm Audrey. And I'm Nevaeh. This is the show that keeps you in the know. Tonight is the mandatory parent meeting for cheer tryouts. Any girl planning to try out must attend with an adult from 6 to 7 in the gym. Please bring your tryout packet. Cheer tryouts will be held March 22nd through the 25th. Also, save the date. Denham Springs Freshman High is having cheer tryouts coming up April 20th and 21st. Our beginning band has their spring concert from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. Our lit night is tomorrow from 5 to 8 p.m. We will have guest speakers, food trucks, free ice cream, open mic night, the library of Atlantville, and leap testing information. We look forward to seeing you and your family there. There will be no school on Thursday because there is a teacher professional development day. Enjoy your day off. Be sure to wish our choir members good luck as they compete in a festival on Friday. Friday is also a club day and spring picture day. In our academic spotlight for the week, we visited Miss Parker's eighth grade science class to learn all about solar ovens. Take a look. This is Ella with the Yellow Jacket Buzz. Today we're in Miss Parker's class investigating what it takes to make a successful solar oven. Today we have a lot of answers to questions for us. So, what, are, what types of heat transfer are you using for your box? Radiation, convection, conduction. Can you tell us what those are? Radiation is the radiation of the sun, okay. and convection is the radiation that keeps the convection is the radiation. I know you do not. What steps are you taking to make your solar oven successful? Or insulated. What's going to make your solar oven successful? Um, well, so one thing my oven will make your solar oven successful will be the insulators and I'll be um, boilers because if you look at it like this, it can capture the sunlight, which you can use to cook food at two different angles, no matter how the sun is. Parker, can you share your tips and success about how to help solar up? Sure. Make sure that you have a black on top to direct the sunlight into the solar oven. That way, when the light gets into the box, you want to make sure it's secure so the sun can't get out and the heat stays in and compress the heat. And also make sure you have aluminum tools to conduct the heat for your food there. Alright, this is the solar oven dance. You ready? Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Now that we have finished our announcements, let's see what's going on with this week's lunch, sports, and weather. Congratulations to our track team for winning first place last week in the Denham Springs track vector with a girls score of 94.5 and a boys score of 86. This week we have a Wildcat invite on Wednesday. Good luck to all of our athletes. Cooler than usual temperatures might last for a few days as we begin our week, but things will start to warm up towards the end. Our St. Patrick's Day is not looking that lucky, however, because there's a pretty good chance of rain as of right now. Temperatures will range between the high 70s and the low 40s. Alright everyone, that's the news for this week. Before we go, we want to leave you with some words of wisdom. You have to push yourself because no one else will do it for you. Good morning, Yellow Jackets. This is the Yellow Jacket Buzz. I'm Audrey. <laughs> you forgot I your name. Forgot. Also, save the date. Fresh water. Fresh water. Oh God. Fresh water. Cut. The library bookmobile and leaf tech. Uh, leaf. Leaf. Our academic spotlight of the week. Um, <laughs> the Congratulations to our track team for winning first place last week in the Denim Springs trifecta. Is that right? Cut. That's a wrap.